Howdy everybody, Steve here, KM9G. It is finally a sunny day here. I am in Osceola, Iowa. I've been here for about a week and we have gone through all four seasons in that week. So today is nice and sunny. I get to get outside, it's beautiful. If you don't know, I'm living full-time RV and I have a link to the channel up there so you can follow along with my journey over there on the RV channel. But that means I am space compromised. I have a lot of stuff that I need to fit into a very, very teeny tiny space. And I did a review of the Pine Sill soldering iron which took my Hako FX888D, my favorite soldering iron of all time and shrunk it down to the size of a big fat pencil and now I need some place to store that too. So we've got a 3D printed case I wanted to share with you guys and some other options out there as well and it is time. It's time to brush the stink off of me and get outdoors. This here is the pine sill and this is the size of this thing and this is a very capable soldering iron. I have a video on a couple of build projects I did up there using the soldering iron and it can handle it. I did some really tough ones that had big huge ground planes and needed lots of heat and it worked. I like it. But I need to carry this. I need to carry solder. I need to carry solder wick. I need to carry some type of cleaning device. This is brand new. I haven't even opened it yet because the Hacko had a built-in well to hold one of these things and now I don't have it. But I love my Hacko stuff so I got a Hacko branded this. And while I was at it, I needed some place to hold it so that I didn't sit it down and melt the table. So now there is a holder and a sponge thing, and I don't really use the sponge things. So let me set these things up for you and show you what we're working with. And then I've got a surprise coming up after that. There is a little thumb screw on the back here to place some tension on the iron holder. And that's what she looks like all put together. A nice place to hold the iron to keep it from heating things up and a little sponge there. I don't use these sponges to clean my tip. I use the little brass wool thing that's there, but then the soldering iron just slides right in there and looks like a dwarf <laughs> in that little tiny bin there, but it will do the job for you. However, what I would need to do is I would need to now have a place to store this as well. So big case. No, not good enough. However, this thing does look like it would be a perfect fit for keeping on a normal desk in your workbench area. I don't have a normal desk. I don't have a workbench area. Gotta go. There's even a little flat notch on the back side of that rod to make sure that once it's in, it doesn't swing back and forth side to side. They thought of everything. And that's why I like Hacko. Next up is a replacement for the cleaning, I guess you call this brass wool. I don't even know what this stuff is called. But next up is a holder for that and the, the that itself. And all I need to do to clean my soldering iron is just to kind of put it in there and the magic of modern chemistry and heat transport and all kinds of other stuff cleans the tip off really nicely. However, this little case that it's in, it looks like it's all shiny metal and nice, but it's actually plastic. And I don't know if you can see it on camera, it got warped in the back of the truck. So there's a little indentation on the back there. And then this is all out around on the front here, but it'll, it'll do the job. And if it's on your workbench, it probably won't have that kind of problem. We still have better options though. I think there's one thing that we all need in life now that we have entered into the mid 2020s timeframe. It used to be that you needed a big friend to protect you when you were out with your buddies and said something stupid to somebody you shouldn't have. And you needed a truck friend to help you move and that same big friend from earlier to lift heavy stuff. But now, now we need a 3D printer friend. And my friend Chuck KK6USY came in clutch for this. This is the new case that we got off of Thingiverse to hold the pine sill. Let's take a look. So this doesn't just hold the pine sill itself. This also holds a lot of its accessories. So the first thing that I did was I got rid of the need for this. I got rid of the need for this holder thing. And I got rid of the need for that little warped metal, faux metal, brass wool thing holder thing because that's all inside this box. The one thing I didn't do because I don't like their solution and I can always make another one and someone has, there's many varieties of this thing out there, is the solder. This is almost a lifetime supply of solder for somebody like me and I have built a lot of stuff. If you've seen this on this channel or if you have seen it on my Retro Tech channel, I built a lot of stuff including complete computer systems with this. So, and I haven't, I haven't run out yet. This is Kester, this is the 6337. There'll be a link for this down below. This is the only stuff I use. It is leaded. And if you are one of those safety sallies, then get the lead-free kind and turn your soldering iron heat up. This is the solder wick from MG Chemicals. And this is for those rare occasions when you make mistakes and need to clean up your mess. And this stuff works like magic. It has some flux built into it. And again, some magical chemical properties. And you apply this to the, the work 
then you apply heat to this and it wicks up the solder. That's why they call it solder wick. These guys are really smart at naming things. MG Chemicals makes some good stuff. I also have some flux of theirs and some flux remover because, you know, once you put on too much flux, you have to take it back off. So there's that. This is the case. This is what I wanted to share with y'all right now. And it is a 3D printed case and check that out. You can make the inside whatever color you want. I like black and orange. So we made this black and orange. It also happens to be what Chuck had on hand. So it's black and orange. Inside here, we have that cleaning well that I was telling you about. We have the pine sill soldering iron. We have a one foot USB cable. I think you can probably, you can definitely get a two foot. You might be able to get a three foot. You cannot get a six foot in there. I tried, it wasn't pretty, it didn't work. But how is this gonna work to hold your heated soldering iron? Well, they thought about that. There is this little dingus here and I haven't found a good way to get it out yet, but it, it's doable. And inside of there is just a regular, you know, wheel bearing type thing that will insulate the heat from the plastic. And then you can tighten down the set screw in order to clamp it in place and make it happy for you. Don't pick it up by the tip folks. But that slides right in there. And then as you're doing your work, you can sit your soldering iron right inside the bearing and it'll keep the heat away from the plastic. It'll give it a nice resting place when you're in the middle of doing something and you put it back and you're good to go. And when you're done, put it in and it has room in the case to cool off because it's not actually touching any of the plastic in here when you put it away. I'd still let it cool down a bit before I closed it, but that's just me being extra careful. There is this little bobbin here that holds the solder wick. You can also put the solder on there. There are a couple of versions of this that have multiple bobbins. The first thing that happened is the stud that holds it in place. You can see it doesn't have 100% infill on it. It just broke right off, but this will still sit in there nicely. And this was made for the solder, so it doesn't actually hold the solder wick great but it doesn't hold it bad either. And I don't use this often enough that it'll be that big of a deal if I put it away properly. So like I put it away like that and she stays in place and everything's good. So there is the 3D printed case for the pine sill soldering iron and the cleaning. And there's room up front here for extra tips. And there's room over here for spare parts or whatever it is that you wanna put in there and you are good to go. This thing works great off of a laptop power supply or off of a 12 volt DC source on the backside. So if you have ever built a solar generator or a battery box, or you have a decent wall charger for like a laptop, not for a cell phone, they won't put out enough oomph to get the job done. This is a great little thing to have in your toolkit. And that's all the space it takes up. You could even put this thing in your back pocket. Ta-da! So a big shout out to the developer of the Thingiverse case, the 3D printed case, and to the developers of the Pine Seal because the thing works great. And I'm gonna be building many more solder kits to come, radio kits, computer kits, repairs of other radios, whatever the case may be. And this is my go-to setup now. I just need this and my solder and I am good to go for about 90% of what is out there that needs to be done in this world. There are links for all of this stuff in the description down below. Whenever there is some piece of excellence out there, I like to share it with y'all and make sure that you guys are aware of it so it can make your lives a lot better too. There's a video right over here I think you'll enjoy next. Thanks for being awesome. I'll see you over there.